this is a watermelon, this is a watermelon, this is a watermelon, this is a watermelon, watermelon, cantaloupe, cantaloupe. Why do we have so many watermelon and cantaloupe? Because... They're all ripe at once? Yeah. How many did we pick the other day? Four? No, one. Well, like, Saturday, I think we picked four. That makes nine in one weekend. Bah! Hey, guys, and welcome back to our channel. We are going to give you a garden tour of our garden today. It has gone crazy since probably the last time we did a garden tour, which I don't even remember when that was. Maybe that garden harvest video, I think, I gave a garden tour. That's been three weeks, and it has been nonstop harvesting, preserving, harvesting, preserving, harvesting, preserving. I'm not complaining. I love it. My jars are getting full, my freezer's getting full, and it's amazing. It's just been crazy. <laughs> Not a lot of time for a whole lot of extra other things. So, let's show you around what we got growing. I'm gonna have it. Okay. The beans are still very jungly looking and still producing a lot. These, this first trellis is definitely producing better than the second trellis of beans, which is kind of weird. But these long beans are still going. These beans over here are doing well. So it's been pretty crazy. We're just gonna walk through here because it's so cool. We picked this bowl of cucumbers this morning. Nice six big ones. We're gonna make pickles today with them. The cucumbers have been doing well. And that's only four plants. My other ones are still coming that I planted later. The melons are going crazy. I've harvested 32. Maybe that makes 34 cantaloupes in the last few weeks. That is a lot of cantaloupe when you can only eat like one or two at a time and you can't freeze them or preserve them very well. That's a lot of cantaloupe. Not. So continuing on through this jungly wild mess. Our corn is definitely done. We got a lot of corn in the freezer for that. Um, so I'm kind of just chopping and dropping it when I have time, which isn't super often, but it'll be fun. My new set of pumpkins is, they're growing. Um, my sweet potatoes are still growing. We've had a little We've had a little less damage from voles lately, which has been great. What? It's so exciting. There's a flower on there. Oh, boy. I'm going to take you down a very special place. Okay. Are you leading? Why are we going down this way? This is your favorite plant. She loves this holy basil. It volunteers randomly and she loves it. Right? We have a couple of random volunteer potatoes in here too that are probably almost ready to pull. There's one and there's one over there. But um, there was a big cantaloupe vine in there and it's kind of dying back but it gave us a ton of volunteer cantaloupes. It's great. Check out our volunteer Christmas tree sunflower. <laughs> it's so huge. I counted at least 50 blooms on it the other day. It is massive and still blooming and so beautiful. Yeah, we measured it last time. And the stuff around it is doing okay. We harvested some honeydew off of it yesterday. Some of those vines. Oh yeah, this is also what I need to harvest today. I need to harvest peppers. <laughs> got me a bit. Oh no. That's no fun. So in here we have a lot of red peppers like i probably could harvest a five gallon pailful of peppers today we got yellow mammoth ones that is huge yeah i forgot yeah i really do need to harvest those today <laughs> do something with that i dried some of them and i froze a bunch just in strips so that i could just pull them out and cook them up perfect right our basil is still thriving over there getting all huge and bushy and trying to go to seed. We have pumpkins down there. All through here there's a bunch of pumpkins. Some are doing well and some are not. There's a bunch of blooms and stuff. Let's keep going. Some of my tomatoes aren't looking so great and are probably done. I feel like I topped these guys because we're not really wanting to grow much else. Anyway, that guy's done. Can you walk a little faster please? There we go. This guy's putting on another bunch, which will be yummy. Um, this random pole bean place has given me so many beans. I don't even know what kind of bean it is, but it has produced so many beans. And we don't We've know had... where what? root is. Yeah, it's over there somewhere. I'm going to save some of its 
dry beans, I think. These po these jalapenos have produced a lot, and I have pickled some, and we've munched some jalapeno poppers. They don't have a ton right on them right now, but I picked a whole bunch recently. The banana peppers have produced a lot. The poblanos have produced a lot. With the poblanos, I've made up a mixture of rice, sausage or hamburger, corn, sour cream, cream cheese, a little bit of salsa. Mix that all together. Put it inside the poblanos that you've cut open, roasted a little bit, um, and then bake them till the cheese is melty. Oh, put some cheese on top. Oh man, so good. Very spicy sometimes, but very good. That is a huge bean. We don't really like them that big, so I try to get them a little bit smaller than that. So yeah, this one tomato is, has kept growing. I have tied him up. He is probably five foot tall because he is almost as tall as I am. That is crazy. We have had so much eggplant, so much eggplant. I've dried some, given a bunch away. We've eaten it. That's been a lot. These beans down here are still, still producing. It's pretty crazy that they're still going. Um, probably not as vigorously as they could, and I probably just need to take them out, but I haven't yet. More tomato growth. Yes, I'm leaving the suckers now, just because. I'm lazy and I have too much other work to do. Ah, can't wait. So like down here again, you can see all the red from the peppers. Lots more peppers. Um, my big huge marigold bush. Ah, this is where it gets jungly. It's like, ah, ouch, it rained last night. And so it's like all wet. And I don't really want to walk close to everything. Yep. In here, look at these big red peppers. Woo! Jungly mess of a cherry tomato bush over there. Can you grab me? Can I grab you? Are you stuck back there, ma'am? I put in some random pole beans in here just to see if I could get some more bean harvest. So I put some up, some of my bed corn stalks. You know, just to see. There's another one. I put some over here by the fence. See if they will also do well. The Roma tomatoes have done really well. They have produced a lot. Yeah, I think almost done now, but they have produced a lot for us. All right, let's go over this way and see what's over this way. More wild, jungly stuff. I've tried planting beans a lot, and I need to get some rabbit repeller or figure out what repels rabbits because they keep munching my beans. Because I also planted two rows of beans here and they've nibbled them pretty much down to nothing so i'm not going to get very many beans from that random zucchini maybe you know sunflower house is looking a little sad this morning a little dead ish but it's just the end of the season but it was so beautiful yeah that means we can harvest the seeds soon from it right like this guy over here let me show you. I mean, the watermelon vines are trying to take over. Ugh. Trying not to get wet. Like that guy, I probably could harvest the seeds from, I think, soon. And maybe plant them in, because that was a really nice sunflower. Ah! So jungly. So wet. Ah! We had one watermelon vine over here die. And that's those two little watermelons are from. They did not make it. But it's okay. We'll eat it. Can Let's I, see. Um, for a minute? This minute? One minute. What are you gonna show? What? This is um perennials. Mm-hmm. Perennials. A perennial patch? Yeah. That's my eggplant. How's your eggplant doing? Good. Yeah? Pepper. The same thing. Yep. How's our melon patch doing? Great. Tell me how many, how much you've enjoyed the melons. So much, but not a watermelon. You don't love watermelon? No. Why not? Not the watermelon that was not red. Oh, that one that was blue. Mm -hmm. Well, I got rid of it. We got a yummier one, right? Yeah, it's red, red, red. Does it taste better? Yeah, it tastes. <laughs> Good. All right, let's keep walking. I can't stop it yet. Oh boy. 
Anyway, so we have more gale homes down here that will be ready soon. There's one, there's one. I believe, oh, that guy looks like he's ready. Yep, I think. Mm, yep, he's ready. It came a little bit easy because they like break off the ends. Can't Honeydew can be harder because you have to like push on their ends. See if they're soft. But anyway, let's take this as we go. Strawberries are doing good. They are putting on runners in some places. So that's pretty cool. This random batch of tomatoes has produced a lot. Some of them, some of the plants, like that guy over there, he has like a little fungus thing and all the fruit is just rotten. But I never did stake these up. So honestly, like, it probably would have been better if I had at least staked it once. I just didn't. There's a big honking watermelon over there. That is a cherry tomato bush over there. It is going wild that I need to, like, trim it back or something. That's My lettuce over there is going to, to seed. You need to leave Walk home. Which is great. I you love it. You need to leave Walk Pass home. Okay. I will save which the seeds for more lettuce. Which reminds me, I need to start lettuce <laughs> for the fall. Soon. Maybe next week. We'll see. I'll start it soon. The tomatoes along here didn't do amazingly. This one probably has done the most, bestest. I got a bunch off of it yesterday. But, yeah, they just, they struggled a lot, I think. Okay, so coming back over here, we still have lots more watermelon, more cantaloupe, more honeydew, more melons, or squashies in there. Another ginormous tomato plant, cherry tomato. Look, Mom, what? Look. What? Over there. What's over there? No, over there. What's over there? You. Oh, what's over there? No, down. The nasturtium is blooming? Oh, it's very pretty. Yes. Huge patch of watermelon, or huge patch of honeydew right there. There's so many on there. Whew. We have zucchini growing, and we've actually gotten two zucchinis so far. And I think that zucchini will be pollinated today. So there's a male flower open over there. Pretty exciting. Oh, and there's a male flower on that one. So here's another bean crop that Mr. Bunny has not discovered. And I've been picking the bean beetles off of it like crazy. These sweet potatoes are doing okay, I think. Crazy zinnia patch. Whew. More squash over there. My peanut plant died because Mr. Roll ate it. Yay, not yay. My potato over here. I have one potato growing. Oh wait, Anna, come here. I have another potato sprout right there. I am so excited about that. So this is basically all just one potato. But I had planted a whole bunch of potatoes in here. Wait, here's another little sprout. We might get more than I thought. Anyway, um, so yeah, they're growing. So it's just a little experiment in this random kiddie pool that I had because I was like, oh, I could just put some dirt in here and see if I could grow potatoes in it. The volts can't come in and munch, which was my biggest problem this year. And some of the potatoes that I found while I was harvesting were already sprouting, and some of them even had leaves on them. So I was like, what's it gonna hurt? I can't really grow these, so plant them in here. Maybe I'll get some potatoes. Honestly, this has a flower on it, which means in like three weeks they can harvest this guy. That is crazy. Anna wants me to film the whole jungle, so here's the whole jungle. Jungle! But it's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised. These zinnias are still going strong. I mean, there's a few on here that we should probably deadhead, but it is looking so beautiful. I love it. This is my favorite one. So that's all for our garden tour today. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video comment down below what's growing in your garden um what's doing well for you and what's not and we'll see you next time bye now that's a bunch of peppers let's get this full Whew.